Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you set up a quadcopter in your Radio Master TX12. Let's switch over to the radio and I'll show you how to do this. First thing we need to do is hit the model button, go down to a spare number that we can use, push the enter key and hold it down and say create. Now we are going to go to multi. Okay, so we're going to assign. Now this radio is on AETR channel mapping, so we'll just go with those. Enter, roll, enter pitch, and yaw. Now, we need to set up the arm button. Now in this case, it's picking switch A, which is a momentary switch, which is probably not a good idea. So we're going to push enter. Now I would, you can choose whichever switch you like, whichever suits you. But in my case, I pick E, which is this one here. So I'm going to change that to E, push enter, and then go page forward. My mode button is normally here, so I'm going to make that B. So push enter, say B, page forward. Then my beeper switch, I'm actually going to put that on D, this momentary switch. I'd have to hold it down. So let's use that one. Click enter again and say D, push enter, page forward. And we can then just cross check everything to make sure everything's all right. And then long press and there is our model. So if we go page forward, we can now go and check, put the model name in. So let's go, we're gonna put taken in here. And there we go. I'm just going to come out and there we go. That is the basic setup for a quadcopter. Now we've set up our basic quadcopter in our TX-12, I feel there's two more things we need to do and that rolls around flight modes and special functions. So let's take a look at those. Now, I feel that we need to add something to our basic quadcopter model. So I've hit the model key and I'm going to page across. And the first thing I'd like to go through with you is the flight modes. Now, we can put the flight modes in different orders, but I will explain in a little while why I'm going to do it in this order. So we're going to push enter. And the first one I'm going to set up is Here's horizon. Now we can't put the full word in, but this means horizon mode. Okay, and then we are going to push return, and that's the first mode. There is no switch for that mode. The second mode, we are going to call this disarmed. Okay, disarmed. Now we move down and we want to pick a switch. Now that is going to be this switch here in my case. So I'm going to, uh, let me just return that, just tap once. And now I'm going to flick the switch. Now in my case, disarmed will be here. So we click enter and then return. Now we set that mode up. We're going to go to the next mode, which is going to be angle. Push return, click once. Now this switch is going to be this one here. Now that would be in the middle position for angle. I've set that up as middle position. So then we push enter and we push return and we come back out. Then we go to the final mode, which I think is the basics that you need. That is acro. So we're gonna put acro Acro. 
and then we're going to dive down and then we want to put the switch in the forward position. Okay, then we can push enter. Then we come out. Now that is all the modes that I feel you, the basic modes that you should have on a quadcopter. Now let's move on to the special functions. We can hit the page key and go across to our special functions window. Now in the first one, if I click once, now I'm going to add in here my armed. So when I'm armed, this is forward. So you just push the button forward and you can see it's SE. Click enter. Move across, we are going to play a track. Play a track. Then we move over, we click again, and we can go down and we are looking for, whoops a daisy, I've gone too far. So that is going to be armed. And then we push enter. And if I now, armed. we will know that we've armed, armed. our quadcopter. Okay. We go to the next line, push enter and push again. Now this one is going to be disarmed. So we're going to pull forward and we are then going to move over, click enter, and we are going to find play track again. Play track, move over, and then we're going to move down to disarm. Okay, and then push return, back down. So we should have armed, disarmed, and then I think for safety, I am going to add, this is a three position switch. I'm just going to bring it to the back position and then put here again that it's disarmed. So we're going to play track. There we go. And return. Great. Now, so we've set up our... Disarmed. Armed. Disarmed. So that's disarmed. great. Disarmed. Now we can um, set up a special function for our mode switch, this one up here. So if I click enter and then flick the switch forward, then I'm going to push enter. So this one is going to be play track. And here I want to fly, find acro. So flight mode acro that should be the one push return let's go down let's test it flight mode acro there we go then we click on this one the next one put the switch into the middle position click enter go across click enter and go to play track and this time we are going to pick up angle mode so flight mode we should have it there angle there we go and push it Return. Okay. And go down. So flight mode acro. Flight mode angle. Angle. And then we go to the next line. And we're going to pull the switch in the back position. And play track. Play track. And here we're looking for flight mode horizon. Horizon. That should be it. Push enter. Go down. So now we have flight mode angle, flight mode acro, flight mode angle, flight mode horizon. And I think for a basic model, that is everything we, the minimal amount of functions we should have. Now let's demonstrate the flight modes on the opening screen. So we're going to push return and you can see now flight mode angle. We can see angle. So let's start again. Acro. Flight mode angle. Flight mode horizon. And we can see the flight modes on our front of our screen. But if I go to disarm, disarm it doesn't matter flight mode angle. Flight mode acro. where this switch is. It's going to always show us that we're actually flight disarmed. Mode angle. Flight mode horizon. Because I think that's the most important, uh, you know, to know that you're definitely not armed in case you accidentally pull the throttle forward. So that's that displayed. Go to armed. armed. It will tell us which mode. Flight mode, angle. Flight mode acro. Now I want to just take us over to beta flight and show you that this is actually working. Now this video is only about setting up the TX12 radio. 
I'm not going to go into great depth with beta flight, but I want to go into there to show you that the switches and everything are working correctly. So let's switch over to beta flight. I've plugged my receiver in and I've got my radio on. So we're going to say, you can see we've got COM port 4 there. We're going to connect to it. Now, if we go to the receiver tab, now you can see my roll is working, my throttle, my pitch, and my yaw is all working. I've also got uh, aux, aux 1, aux 2, and aux 3, as we set them up uh, within the radio. So let's go and have a look at modes. So you can see we are armed at the moment. Let's so the two position switch, whichever position when it's in the middle or back, it's going to be disarmed. But when I go forward, it will be armed. Okay. So then if we go to our, if I just scroll down so you can see everything there. If I, at the moment, I would be in acro mode. If I click the switch to the middle, you can see we're now in angle mode. And if I, and I flick back, we're in horizon mode. And at all times, of, when, whether we're in acro, angle, or horizon, we are, we've got air mode activated because it's linked to the arm channel. And then, let me disarm. And I've, I've put the um, buzzer onto the momentary switch, and you can see that operating. So you can see that everything will be, is working correctly. But this tutorial is not about beta flight, it's about the radio. Uh, but this, I just wanted to show you this so you can see it is all operating correctly. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. And please consider becoming a patron of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye bye.